but the smallest Olmec head is six tons, and the largest one is 52 tons. The largest head is, uh, this, you'll find this interesting. Um, so there was a nautical engineer that uh, MEC, which is an organization I'm, I'm with, it's the Maya Exploration Center. It's, it's run by Dr. Ed Barnhart. I'm, I'm a, a member of it. And, uh, and one of the guys that worked with us uh, traveled into the Olmec realm. He, he's a nautical engineer. He's fascinated with, um, he's fascinated with how were the Olmecs moving these huge heads up and down these rivers? So they live in like the rivers, swamps, they have to cross some mountain ranges. How are you getting these heads 90 miles away uh, from the Sierra de la Tuxla volcanic belt? That's where they're pulling the basalt from. Because we found unfinished heads like at the base of these big basalt quarries. And they're transporting them 90 kilometers away through, you know, like I was saying, rivers and 90 valleys. miles or kilometers? I think it's kilometers. It's kilometers as the crow flies. I'm, oh, I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay. And uh, so much further when you're actually dealing right. with the complications of the terrain. And um, and so uh, he was fascinated, like, okay, how do they get them to the river? And, and, and then when, how do they get them on the boat? And then when it's on the boat, how, does, how exactly does this work if they're transporting it by boat? And kind of the same mystery in Egypt too, right? Like how, how do the nuances of these things work? So he devised this algorithm or whatever where you could put in the hypothetical size of your Olmec raft and put in the hypothetical size of an Olmec head into this uh, database or whatever. And when you made a raft that was too big to go down the narrow stretches of the Coetzcalcos River, which is like the Olmec's Nile River, when the raft was too big and too wide to actually go down the river and you put a five-ton Olmec head on it, it would sink that raft. But the smallest Olmec head is six tons, and the largest one is 52 tons. So how are they, how are they doing it? And this is something that like all archaeologists have quietly known. This idea of they're just being transported on these simple balsa rafts must be wrong. It's you know it's it's unexplained. How how are these things being done? 